Engineer 775 here wanted to talk to you about 12 volt charge controllers. I've got about five of them I want to show you. And the first one I'm going to start with is the uh, Flex Charge, the NCA2512 and uh, it's a Flex Charge USA. I've been using these for about three years. It's a little bulletproof little charge controller. They do come in 12 and 24 volt and actually 48 volt as well. It uses a completely different charging algorithm than a lot of the other charge controllers on the market. I'm not necessarily endorsing any one thing, uh, charge controller, in this video, um, but I do believe that you should have uh, some small solar at your location. And so, just going to give you some ideas. These all they all work, and some are a little better, more robust than others. Some are easier to connect and wire up than others. Um, so. This one has a, um, two battery sensing wires that are very important in terms of how the uh, charge controller works. Some do not have that, some use temperature probes. So I'm just going to show you what I've been using. These are great charge controllers. Again, I'm hooked to, just hooked to a battery here on, on this table and then I got a series of inverters. This is, um, these are all fairly inexpensive inverters ranging from 200 up to 3000 watts with remote controls and all different types of inverters, but I'm not going to focus on inverters. Um, the four that I have here are just very useful. And um, so anyway, I'm not going to go there. Charge controllers, very important. So the first one I wanted to show you was the Flex Charge 12 volt charge controller. And um, so, um, and these we actually, we do offer these on our website if you're interested. Um, some of the other ones we, we do not at this point. So anyway, just thought I'd throw that in there. The next one will be some of the a Morning Star, I think. The next uh, inverter is one of the Morning Star Sun Saver 10 amp. I've used these for years. These are real tough, real simple to, to mount and to, to use. You have your PV positive, negative, battery positive, negative. And it also, you can hook the, the load to them as well to run a light or bulb or um, a bulb of course a light bulb or a pump or anything like that so small solar panel hooked to this um, I use this right now for maintaining the battery in my crank a watt I just have a small solar panel running through charge control this charge controllers will handle a lot more than what I'm using it for but very very handy hard to beat any of the little morning star morning star makes I have another one I'm going to show you called sun guard for real small systems, but they're uh, ProStar with a meter, uh, TriStar, there's a lot of the uh, Morningstar uh, charge controllers that are awesome. Next is the Morningstar SunGuard. This thing is so discolored and beat up, I used this at Katrina. Um, had two of these that I used um, just to keep our communication gear and some other things up and running, keep our batteries going. So. Again, using a small, small solar panel, a 20 watt panel running through the sun guard, is can easily charge this battery in a few hours and maintain it. It's not a big battery, but I've hooked it to some big batteries. So charge control is very important. Here's a Morning Star sun guard. Very easy uh, to hook up, very easy to use, and very tough, very durable. 4.5 amps at 12 volts, and as you can see, it's been been beat up. For the last almost 10 years so tough stuff okay the next charge controller I've got set up here again using the uh, SMH plugs from the solar panel is just a it's a C40 uh, Schneider electric charge controller can take a little bit more amperage actually 40 amp input uh, you see the heat the cooling fins because uh, this will get hotter I actually have a remote for this too so you can probably see that it's 14.2 volts. This one will measure amp hour usage and all sorts of stuff. And this is remote with tons of cable if you wanted to do that. You also have the battery temperature probe that it uses to compensate in its charging um, circuits. And then I just have it hooked up to a, a wheelchair battery actually in a 12 volt system. Again, this is all 12 volt. This thing's great. So you've got remote control, you've got a lot of different things. Plus I like this and this thing can be configured for 12, 24, or 48 volts. 
So I do, I, most of my water pumping systems are 24 volts, so I can use this, have used this. So great little charge controller, but it can do 12, 24, 48, and uh, offer you some other cool features like a remote display that measures the amount of amperage, the amount of the battery voltage, and total amp hours. And so it's, it's cool, gives you a little ability to troubleshoot, okay? Okay, for the charge controller video that you're watching, I just used two 140 watt Kyocera panels. I use these near my office just to, they're portable and I, I just use them for all sorts of experiments. Uh, when I get bored, I just start hooking things up. So uh, let me show you the connectors I like to use. Um, the connectors I use, these quick disconnect uh, SMH um, connectors are awesome. You might have seen these on a winch plug or something like that, but I use these because they're just uh, pull apart. Um, they're the same plug, they're just the way they're made. Um, they're, some call them Anderson connectors. They're, they're, they're all different, but uh, these are the ones that we use on the Sunrunner uh, portable solar charger. I just like these. They're heavy duty, easy to work with, and so I'm running my solar, the end of my solar cable in here, and I can plug various charge controller configurations into it. And the last charge controller I'm showing you is the one in our Sunrunner. Um, just using the Sunforce 12 volt 30 amp charge controller. It gives you a display. Display is always nice being able to tell you how many amps you're getting from your solar panel, uh, what the voltage of the battery is, what level of charge, and so that has worked extremely well on the uh, Sunrunner portable battery, portable solar generator. So, okay, that's it. Five solar um, battery chargers, all 12 volt. And just to give you some ideas, um, I've had no problems out of any of these. And so it comes down to cost and um, what you're trying to run, what kind of amperage you need, voltage and all that again so uh, just want to kind of hopefully that helped in terms of selecting a 12 volt charge controller I very much encourage you to get some small solar systems going um, and so that you can keep at least your communication gear running um, batteries being recharged for all your all your flashlights and tactical gear so learn how to run um, you know, small 12 volt charging system off of the sun. If you have any questions or need any help, just let me know. Engineer 775 signing out.